Uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak to you about adding a humidifier to the auxiliary contacts on the Daikin 1 and the Daikin 1 Touch. Uh, today we'll keep the video under five minutes uh, and review how to add those to the auxiliary contacts properly. All right, here's a quick look at the sub-base of the Daikin 1. And I'll remind you that Daikin 1 has two sets of auxiliary contacts, where the One Touch has a single set of auxiliary contacts. Both require the power on the C terminal. The 24 volts will go to the C terminal before leaving on the auxiliary terminal. Uh, the Daikin furnace itself has a humidifier hum in, hum out contact uh, along with the air handler. And you may see uh, a setup in section three. Some are automatic, some will have to be set up. You'll have to turn the humidifier contacts to the on position. Uh, that would be done in the equipment set up under the furnace or the air handler itself. But when we're adding a humidifier, we'll go to equipment set up, add equipment. And in this case, we're going to choose the uh, humidifier to add. Uh, we'll have to choose how we're going to control that, on with heat or heat with humidity or just on with the humidity call. Standard wiring configuration for the Daikin 1 thermostat. You notice on the Daikin 1 touch, we have the single set of auxiliary contacts, but wired the same. We'll have to connect the power of the transformer to the auxiliary 1C or the auxiliary C in order for it to operate properly. And the output would feed the isolation relay. This allows the thermostat auxiliary contacts to close an isolation relay. Uh, running the component, in this case a solenoid, for the humidifier. All right, you all know how to get to your code and uh, enter the setup. Otherwise, we have a video on that. I'm just going to pick up on the video uh, at the code portion. We'll unlock the thermostat, and we'll go ahead and we'll uh, begin our setup. And we will go to Section 3, Equipment Setup. Uh, here's where you'll actually choose a gas furnace or air handler if you have a set of contacts on the control board. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and go into our equipment setup, and we're going to add a humidifier to run on the auxiliary contacts. All right, so we're going to choose humidifier, and we're going to do a connection. The connection will give us an option, auxiliary 1 or 2 with the Daikin 1 thermostat. Uh, with the touch, we're just going to see auxiliary or automatically go to auxiliary. Uh, we're going to pick our control on with heat and hum in this case. Uh, you can see we do have our other options available. Now I'll caution you on the fan speed. 100% is a lot of fan, especially if you got a 3-ton air handler or a 1.5-ton outdoor unit. I caution you to start with 50% on that uh, just to make sure you got everything working properly. You can speed that up see how it works for you. I will go ahead and hit the Add Equipment, and we're ready to go. We'll, we'll exit this. We'll go to Complete Setup. And continue, and we're going to show you on the homeowner's end. We're going to go ahead and enter in the homeowner's menu uh, and choose the uh, humidity settings. So we'll go settings. The homeowner will scroll down to the actual humidity, and you'll see your two numbers, the red and the blue, uh, target humidity. And the red will be for the humidification and blue for the dehumidify, whether it's on the operation of the equipment or it's going to dehumidify. Uh, using an external device or an auxiliary contact. As always, all the TSAs at Johnstone Supply Cafeteria Group, thank you for the opportunity uh, to spend a few minutes with you.